This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Jack Threads. Speaking of bad ideas, you remember Eric Prince, the guy who used to own Blackwater? Well, he moved to the UAE because there was all these charges against him, and he's basically a crook, and so he decided, I I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm going to ru run and make sure that I can't get dragged into court in the United States. Now, this guy is the, one of the guys who claims to be a big patriot. And, oh, yeah, I'm conservative, I'm Christian, I'm American, I'm a patriot, I'll see you at the UAE, United Arab Emirates. So, now, during Iraq and Afghanistan, we told you for how long? Seven years, eight years, ten years? Don't do these private armies. These private armies will go out of control. But Dick Cheney thought, and Don Rumsfeld thought, great, we, this way it looks like we're sending less troops in. This way some of our best friends who are in the defense industry get rich, including Halliburton, and we basically outsource our military. And so we get these guys like Blackwater to do some of the most sensitive security projects, and they kill people, and they're involved in the fight. They protected our top generals and our top uh, diplomats. So we said, all right, what's going to happen when one day somebody else hires that private army? And of course, they would say, oh, that can't happen. No, of course they're not. No, no, they would only work for the U.S. Really? Why? It's a private army. They will work for whoever pays them the most amount of money. And guess what? That is now the United Arab Emirates. They're paying over $500 million. And all they're getting so far is Prince training up 800 guys okay, or, or taking 800 guys who are trained up to train up the rest of the United Arab Emirates armed forces. Now that might be illegal. You're supposed to get permission, you're supposed to get a license from the State Department if you're going to do anything like that here in the United States. And Jan Schakowsky is now looking into it, she's a congresswoman from the Progressive Caucus, and saying I wanted to see if he's breaking these laws, right? But he's going to get paid and he doesn't care, he lives in the UAE. And he's got in his mercenary army uh, people from South Africa that used to be part of another government in South Africa, well, a lot of great folks here. He's got people from Colombia, etc. He's got from people from all over the world that he's built up as mercenaries. They're going to do it a second round a little later where they're going to bring in a slightly larger army. But the point is for them to be the elite and to solve whatever problems that the dictators in the UAE have. And remember, they're dictators. You can call them royalty, you can call them kings, you can call them princes, you can call them anything you like, but in any democracy, they rule as dictators. So they have hired these mercenaries, and one of their objectives is like protect the oil fields, etc., keep the peace, yada yada, train our soldiers. Another objective is, well, if there are protests, like pro-democracy protests at the UAE, or perhaps later in neighboring countries, these mercenaries come in and resolve the matter. Now, how do you think they resolve that matter? And there's another disturbing aspect to it. You know, the UAE, a lot of times, in a lot of those Gulf states, use basically slave labor. They bring in Pakistanis, they bring in Indonesians, they take their passport. We've talked about this story before, Dubai does it, and then they make them work for barely substance level wages, they lie to them, and they don't let them go. They use them as, at the, if you're being generous, as indentured servants for a great number of years. They say that, well, if there's trouble with those folks, the mercenaries would also take care of that. Great. So they've hired our mercenaries, and mercenaries we train, some of them are U.S., a lot of them are from across the world, to possibly, in, certainly to intimidate and possibly kill their slave labor that they got from all across the world. Can you imagine a more loathsome thing? And of course, when this happens, everybody says what? Oh, nobody could have seen it come. <laughs> Except for us and the entire progressive media, which was yelling, we see it coming! It's going to happen. And one last thing I see coming. You think there's never a situation when that mercenary army gets larger and at some point runs into our army, then what happens? You think those South Africans and the Colombians and the people making money off of it that are U.S. based are going to give a damn about our troops? They ripped off our troops for oh, about a decade so far. They don't give a damn. Now look, if they run into our guys, my sense is they get pulverized, right? But I hope that never happens. But this is one of the many reasons that you don't start up private armies. They're called mercenaries for a reason. We've known that it's a bad idea for centuries. And yet we did it. So stupid.
Jack Threads is a new sponsor for TYT. They're a members only online shopping club. But because you know us, you're going to get in. Aren't we cool? <laughs> <laughs> but here's a key part to it 80% off. Hello, up to 80% off of the, some of the top apparel lines in the country. Game over. Right. So go to jackthreads.com slash TYT because it's free to join and you get all those discounts and you avoid the pain in the ass. The ending of this commercial is a little schwang, right? <laughs>